So, hello guys, and welcome to this new video. Today, we are here to present the technical structure generator. Yes, it's another filter. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess I should quickly do a little story. Uh, I'm gonna keep the main bulk of the story. Maybe there will be a couple of corrections at the end, but the main bulk uh, should be in another video. Maybe I'll make like Reflex Episode 6 and have some talky bits right there, but I don't want to turn this MC Edfield video into like a 15 minute talk. Yeah, that's gonna be a that anyway, but I just try to not to. Um, so yeah, uh, just simple explanation of course. Uh, I'm more lazy, I've been more lazy than usual for some reason. And yeah, I've just not been getting anything. Well, not 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 anything, but I've, I've done very little in the past month. Um, and I haven't uploaded anything in the past month and a half. So yeah, I, I want to change that, but uh, I hope I can. It's it's a bit it's just a motivational issue and yeah but that's not very important. Uh, the main reason though I want to make this video before any other videos is that um, for the subscribers may have seen the uh, contingency application video I made back in October. Um, so that was like two videos ago or something or three, but uh, it was a long time ago and I really had to um, make up for that uh, without too much videos in between because a lot of people seem to have been confused uh, with that like huge witch farm and guys that was just a big joke um i uh, i play with the contingency and conspiracy guys weekly and uh that the whole video was basically just an inside joke to vibrator and macro comp and just a bunch of people from there um speaking of macro comp um i got to that in a second i first want to finish the story so everything you saw on there not everything but um, of course, the witch spawning was just done using this filter, which I got to in a second. But it's just a filter. It got, I didn't actually find a legit witch hut bug, which was just freaking huge, basically. Nope, uh, that was fake. Um, but of course, like I didn't, I didn't mod Minecraft or anything to do that. It's, I just messed with the MET data with this filter, and I think that's the contingency application video out of the way. So, um, let's get to the, uh, the reason I made this filter. Um, I may already have thought of it in the past, I don't really know, but back in September I got two suggestions. First from Nerdy, he, was, he wanted a filter so he could easily build Wither Skeleton Farms without having to look for a nether fortress and that kind of mess. He just wanted a big biting box where Wither Skeletons can spawn, which makes sense. So, um, yeah, that's when I thought of it, making the... Oh, that's when at least was really thinking of making it before. I'm not sure, maybe. Um, and then Spock, like a week later or something, funny enough, independently suggested that uh, he wanted to make witch farms, uh, making witch farms easier. Let me see, okay, kill that guy, I hate those things. Um, and yeah, so that's why we got a witch, uh, why I uh, also had, had a witch farm functionality, I was just like, hmm, well, we also got ocean monuments, so let's just make a full filter out of this. Um, I suppose, yeah. That's basically the story. I won't get into the details. So yeah, uh, thanks to Nerdy and MacroMacComp, aka Spock, aka Spodicus, youtube.com slash Um Yeah, that is that. And I think I... Yeah, I think we can get into the filter itself. Maybe I'll do some corrections later on, but I just want to get this out of the way quickly. So, the content. This filter generates what I would like to call a technical structure, which basically is, um, for some mobs, they you probably already have noticed that they don't spawn everywhere, like witches, like they do spawn everywhere, but only in, at very low rates, And whereas in witch huts, they only spawn. And yeah, they can make use of that, of course, um, to make witch farms and stuff, but uh, the main issue, of course, being that you have to look for witch huts if you, every time you want to make a witch farm, and that's annoying. So with this filter, you can just uh, create a binding box identical to a witch farm anywhere in your world, even on your flatland world, as far as I know. And uh, yeah, build your farm over there without having to create a separate world for everything. And uh, that whole mess and flying around with a red seed or whatever. Uh, same thing for another fortress, but I'll get to that in a second. So, um, now, if you want to build a witch farm, I will get into the spawn conditions. They're actually pretty simple. Um, since some time, uh, apparently, they have removed the biome requirements, so you can really spawn them in any biome. As you can see, wait. By the way, it is just a uh, coincidence that this pad has less spawns. I've looked at this for a while by now, and to me, it really seems to be equal. Um, so yeah, that's just 
coincidence. Um, but yeah, so bombs don't seem to matter. Height doesn't seem to matter, and that sounds pretty straightforward to you, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, just at 120 and no height issues are right there. And of course, but of course, they need the burning box, which you can get with the filter. So that's basically only one of the conditions. Now for the ocean monuments or garden spawning, you will need something else. Of course, you will need water. Um, that's pretty clear, I suppose. Uh, but the biomes don't matter, just like with the witches. You have got got the uh, deep ocean biome, which is typically this, the uh, natural habitat, you could say, of the guardian. And here we've got planes, and both of them spawn equally fine, basically. Let me just... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Plop, plop, plop. All right. Um, so let me just kill all entities but players. And yeah, you can see that both of them just spawn fine, basically. Uh, something you may have noted, you may notice though, is that they never seem to spawn below, above that uh, storm block right over there. Why? Because that is uh, Y100. So, uh, yeah. For some reason that seems to be the case. I don't get why, but I've looked at it for a while and that seems to be my conclusion. They don't do that, so just put your farms below that. Um, this will also never be the case in a uh, naturally generated world, unless there's some kind of big bug I don't know about. Uh, with the generation, but um, yeah, so that shouldn't never happen. So yeah, just when you're building your farms, always do it below 100, of 100. Get the water, of course, and you will, of course, as always, need the ocean monument structure, which you can generate with a filter. Now, then, the th do the third option of the filter. That is um, a bit more of an issue because it's another fortress, and which is normally in the nether. So I tried to do it in the overworld, but I failed. Uh, so even with the hell biome over here, it doesn't get you with the skeletons. Where, although this entire area is actually a um, well, not area, actual volume, is a uh, another fortress structure normally, but it just doesn't care basically. Over here, you've got normal uh, overworld spawns, some witches because those are rare ones, not because it's like witches or something. And over here, uh, you got better spawns, uh, standard nether spawns, it seems. Uh, zombie pigmen and ghasts. I haven't seen magma cubes on here. I'm not sure about those. Um, they should spawn on here, but um, I just haven't seen them yet. Anyway, uh, so yeah, don't try it in the overworld. I tried, I failed. Well, unless you, if you succeed, of course, place a comment. I want to know about that. Speaking of comments, um, this filter has, as I really want to get this video out soon, I uh, basically didn't do what I would consider like really proper testing. I, a lot of things are still in the dark for me and. Feel free to correct me on anything I'm saying right here. If you've got, um, if you've done more tests at least, like don't just guess, I suppose, uh, in the comments, of course. Uh, but the thing is just is that this will only be used by mob farm developers, which won't be a lot of people. And I didn't think that I, I just felt like it was wasn't worth the hassle of doing like extreme testing or well, extreme as much testing as I would usually do, basically. Um, so oh, that's weird. <laughs> Last time I recorded this, I actually barely got any zombie pigmen spawns, and this time I'm getting barely any nether fortress spawns. But yeah, you already saw the place right there. Let's to prove that I didn't just spawn these in before. We've got with a skelly over there, another place over there, place there, mamma cube. Um, we can kill all entities again. Uh, yeah, got new some, got some new spawns. So yeah, obviously this entire valley is basically just another fortress, according uh, as far as the game is concerned. Um, so yeah. That's how that works. Um, now I think that may just be it. I may uh, add some more info later on in the video if I mess something up. If I uh, if I realize I've messed something up. For now that will be it. So let's go to the second step in MC Edit. So here we are in MC Edit. Uh, I am actually going to go to the overworld because uh, yeah, in the nether I haven't really marked out the fortress clear. So that would be a bad testing zone. Also, I'm just gonna test, uh, show you how to do um, how the filter works for one single, uh, basically type, uh, which will be the witch hut. Uh, as for the other stuff, um, well, I basically explained the spawning conditions. That should be pretty clear by now. So I think it should be okay to just uh, go from those and how to make one um, of those, specifically the witch hut. So. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, grab one of those things. I'm just gonna grab these two platforms. Uh, and basically, I'm just gonna copy the platforms, which will, of course, this will only copy the blocks. 
Let's get me it very clear here. Um, it doesn't want to nudge for me. Oh, I see. Alright, we're getting the buff. Uh, let's go for like six, mm, 64. Should be good. Alright, um, so we're just gonna play that here. Uh, right now, there's, this is just normal structure. Uh, I'm sorry, a normal structure. Um, nothing really happening right here. And I guess to prove that I can, I will just uh, only do it with uh, make this side a witch hut. So uh, let's just stack a bit up. Technically, you only need one layer of air, but I don't really care. It's not like it makes it much more laggy as far as I know. So yeah, we're just uh, going to go to the technical structure generator 1.0. And I know I'm talking quickly, but this video is already getting pretty long. So yeah, I hope that makes it a bit better. I just want to get it done mostly. Um, so structure option. Which uh, you can choose between temple, nether fortress, and ocean monument. And the temple refers to the witch hut, of course. If you didn't know, witch huts are saved just like uh, in the same file as jungle temples and uh, desert temples. Uh, speaking of files, one important thing to mention: you cannot undo this with a normal MCLED undo function. A um, bit of MCLED tech here, but as far as I've read, the MCLED undo function, what it does, it, it just resets. Um, the everything inside of the uh, uh, pounding box uh, inside of the selection box to the state it was before you run the filter or the, any operation really. Um, that's what it does when it's saving the undo as it say, uh, say that. Um, but the problem is um, if you do that, if you edit stuff outside of the selection box, you can't undo it like that. You just have to not save it. But with this, it's even worse because um, this actually doesn't write something to the level that that file. Which we've got opened right here with MC Edit. It actually just takes wherever the level of that file is and it goes out from there to uh, navigate to the data folder of the world you are in. And there it adds some files uh, or uh, alters them if they already exist uh, to add structures. Um, and that's just the way structures work. There's no way around that. But it does mean that if you want to reverse your actions, you basically have to remove. The entire file, which means you will lose all of the widgets, for example, in this case, of your world. If you do it with, if you want to reverse your ocean monument, uh, you will have to remove all ocean monuments. Uh, if you just want to de delete the file manually, another way to do it is to use an MBT editor, um, and you could technically use MC Edit, but uh, you would have to write a custom filter for that, basically. But there are like stuff like MC uh, MBT Explorer out there. Which allow you to edit MBT data manually, and that way you will be able to remove a single ocean monument structure created by the uh, filter without having to remove all of them in your world. But really, uh, you shouldn't care about that in my opinion. As basically, if you're using this filter already, you should use only your creative worlds where there normally aren't any important structures, or if there are, you can just replace them again with it using this filter, right? Um, so yeah, with that out of the way. Beware, guys, this is not easily reversible, or at least not without a cost. So, anyway, that's done now, and really, that's it. Um, really simple filter. Uh, so, yeah, let's get, go right back into Minecraft. So, here we are, back in Minecraft, and uh, yeah, I'll just quickly go back to the overworld and see how our test has gone. Dum -ba -dum. Wait, right, something I'm just thinking of right now. Well, first thing, we don't have night vision anymore, as I removed it. But there we have it again. Secondly, I do have some command box running here, removing any entity which is too far away, and... This is gonna get laggy. Come tap. Okay, that, that should be a bit better. Anyway, yeah, this is a bit too far, I think. Let me just check for a second. Creeper... Uh, let's put it on here. Yeah. Uh, problem is, uh, there, is a com there are some command locks running down here, which remove all entities which are a certain radius away from here. Why? Because um, we may have a perimeter here, but it's actually not that. It's not big enough, basically. So, to, in order to be able to fly around freely, basically, we I just do use that. So, I'm gonna make that a bit bigger, like 100 or something. So now it will keep all entities within the radius of 100, which should actually also be okay at removing the entities over there and stuff. I think. Uh, let's let's keep the creeper egg for now because I can use it as a test. Uh, oh, but we got some spawns over here, and those seem to work quite fine. Let me just go, like the farthest edge you can go is right here. Yeah, they still can't spawn on here. 
a bit of an issue. Let me just get back down. Finally, and then should do everything then. And bam. All right, so let's go over there again. But now everything should be fine. All right, that's pretty good. Um, if it's not, then I don't care. Yeah, see, it works fine. Perfect. Uh, okay, so we got a couple of witches over here. Uh, and yeah, now it's going to get annoying. Minecraft graphics. Let me see if we can just uh, remove clouds for a second. Actually, I had you moved uh, some uh, particles a second ago. Not sure if those matter, but... Oh well, I, I don't care. It's just a video. Um, so yeah, over here you can see I've got the witches spawning over here. We don't get anything spawning. That's pretty weird. Now let's just kill everything for a second. Uh, kill... Oh, I am not being able to type today, apparently. Kill every empty but players. Uh, we're getting some new witches, so that definitely works, but it doesn't seem to spawn more um, other stuff over here, basically. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, wait, wait a sec. Um, dang it, I got a sneeze, but I can't mute my Mac, actually. Alright, I'll just hold it. Um, okay, so, yeah, we've got some spiders. Uh, no witches, so this definitely isn't a witch hut, and this most likely is a witch hut if you look at the amount of spa witch spawns we've been getting and no other spawns. Uh, so yeah, I guess that proves it. It works. Uh, that's how you use it. It's pretty simple. And I can't really think of anything else I have to say for now. So uh, if I do, I will probably place it, uh, put it down in the description if it's important. And uh, yeah, I think that will be it. It's, this video is really getting way too long as it is, right? So yeah, that'll be it for this video. I hope you liked it. But if you didn't, please leave a rating. I'd like to know what you guys think. And I hope I will see you in another video.